Hi, I'm Wes Colson, extending warm holiday greetings to you and yours from all of us here at Dent Colson Elder Law. And this is your Elder Law Minute. This is another of our series of videos on what an Illinois Medicaid applicant can and can't keep. Today, we're gonna to talk about something that unless uh, you uh, live in a farm community, you may have never heard of, and that is something called a life estate. Happens to be actually one of my favorite toys when it comes to planning, because in a lot of cases, it is a way uh, to protect real estate that couldn't otherwise be protected. So first, what is a life estate? A life estate is an ownership interest that ends when the person who owns it dies. So how much it's worth depends on the age of the person who owns it. The older you are, the less that interest is worth. But it's worth more expressed as a percentage of the total ownership interest in property than what you would think. Now, one of the great things about life estates is that if you're talking about protecting real estate, since it dies when the person who owns it dies, if it's the Medicaid applicant who owns it, that means that there is nothing for the state to come after when that person dies. So as I like to say, they may be shooting after the train, but they're standing at the station and the train has done left the station. So we do a lot with planning. Sometimes if you have people who own property half a piece, you can flip that so that the Medicaid applicant owns only or mainly life estate interest and we're able to protect a significant amount of value by doing that. So for anyone who owns non-residential real estate, this is something that we can do things that are almost akin to working magic that can help protect quite a bit of assets uh, that couldn't otherwise, frankly, be protected. So give us a call. We can help. Thanks.